Hi guys, welcome to Home PE Lesson 7. Today's topic is going to be balancing whilst moving. Now, the equipment you're going to need for today's lesson, you're going to need roughly six to eight socks. You're going to need a tennis racket or any type of racket. I've got a squash racket here, but you could use, maybe you could even use a frying pan. And if you have none of those items, it's fine. You can use your hand, not a problem. You also need uh, a bean bag or a teddy or anything that you can place on top of your uh, racket. And then also you're going to need uh, two balls. So I've got a tennis ball here and I've got a plastic rolled up ball. All right, so that's just to make things a little bit trickier for our balancing on the racket today. All right, so if you go and grab those items and then meet me back in a moment and we'll start our warm up. Right then. Today's warm up is called Walk the Plank. So you're going to need about four socks, depending on how much room you've got. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is place them in a long line. Okay? This. Okay, so I've got my nice long line of socks here, and that's going to be our plank. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to be going through lots of different movements for roughly 10 seconds and at the end of that 10 seconds we're then going to walk through the plank turn around walk back again so i'll just do a demonstration so walking the plank it's like this so you've got to try to stay on the start talk about falling off turn around and then go back through again all right so i'll let you know what we're going to do that right so you set your socks out like i've done now okay and then we're going to get going so Start with some jogging on this one. Okay, so it's about 10 seconds. One, two, eight, nine, ten. Good, right, we're gonna walk the plank. Okay, with two knots. Go all the way along. Good. Back here. Nice. Okay. Make it to our jog. Alright okay, guys, let's see. Another couple of seconds, five, four, three, two. What? Good. We're going to have two walks along our plank. Okay. Excellent. And again. Nice. Okay, we're going to go into skips this time. If you don't want to spot, or you can move around, it's up to you. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Number two walk through. back and see skip. Then guys, good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Go back through. Ooh. Nice, well done, good work. Next one. Good. Okay, we're going to side steps this time. Okay, so we're going to, if you've got a little space, then you go side to side. If you've got a bigger space, then you can move around your area. Good, another five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, another two walks through. Nice, can hang it now guys, well done. Good, two more side steps. Change direction. Good. Get it back through. Nice. Good, okay, we're gonna do some hops this time. All right, so we're gonna hop on the spot. Change legs. Good, change legs when you're ready. And then we can hop around this time. Nice, and then back through. Good, and opposite way. Nice, and then hops. Well done. Up. Change your legs every now and again. Whenever you're ready. Good, we're gonna walk through again. Walk. Nice. Nice, okay, last one. I want you to run as fast as you can, okay? So if you've got the space, you can run around. If not, you can run on the spot. Super speedy. Quick as you can. Night marks. Quick as you can. Move around if you can. 
Go, 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 go. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna walk through the plank. Watch out, Mark. Good, back through the other way. Nice, one more. Run as fast as you can. Go on. Well done. Go on the spot. Good, and last turn. Walk through. Through. Nice. All the way back through again. Nice. Well done. Right. Go and get some, grab yourself a drink, and then meet you back for the skill activity. All right. Well done, guys. Right, then, superstars. We are going to start with our skill activity. Before we do that. We're going to go through our second aims for today's lesson. So, the first one is, can I walk along the tightrope without falling off? Okay, next one is, can I complete a level plus challenge? And then the last one is, can I score over five points in the skill game? Okay, so that's our three session aims today. Right, we are going to go through our levels now. So level one, what you're going to do, at the moment we've got a plank, we want to make a tightrope, so we're going to make it a little bit longer. So you're going to get your remaining socks, okay, and make your plank into a tightrope by making it a little bit longer. Okay. Right, and then what you're going to do on each level is have 10 goes and then meet you back for the next level. Alright, so level one. Okay, I know that we've done it in the warm up, but it's a bit longer now, so we're going to walk through. So you can have 10 goes, walk it all the way through the tight rope. So that's one, and I go back down. Good, that's two. And you can make this as long as you like as well. Okay, the longer um, the better. Alright, and then level one plus, you're going to go on tiptoes. Alright. Instead of walking, you're going to go up onto your tiptoes and see if you can go all the way along. Alright, and then again. So you're going to do 10. Once you've done 10, meet me back and we'll go through level 2. Alright, good luck guys. Excellent, well done on beating level 1. Now we're going to check our comma meter. So if we've got big thumbs up, be confident you've done that level and stay with me. If we had wobbly thumbs, okay, which means we need a bit more practice, then what you can do is go back to level one, okay, and then as you're going through, you'll find it tricky to stay on your tightrope and just walk by the side of it. Okay, so you can go by the side of it and then maybe go on a little bit and then onto the side of it again. Okay, so just work your way up, just going all the way along in one go. Right, level two. So, we're going to go sideways for level two. So, as we practice in our warm up side steps, okay, so we're going to go sideways along your tightrope. Alright, 10 goes of that. You want to do level two plus, then you're going to jump. Okay, so you're going to start here, you're going to jump sideways along your tightrope. Alright, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so you're going to do 10 goes. And then meet you back to level three. All right. Good luck, guys. Yes, guys. Well done on level two. So level three. Again, quick check off on me for level two. So we're happy, confident. Stay with me. With wobbly bumps, we found that a level a bit tricky. And what you can do on level two is start by going forwards, and then on your last few socks, then try and go sideways. Alright, and then build your way up to um, using less going forwards and more going sideways. Okay? Right, level three. So I'm starting to get tricky now. So, level three is so you're going to go backwards. Okay, so you're going to start with the tightrope, look behind you. Okay, so it's tricky. Place your feet behind you. Okay, and then level three plus, okay, is you're going to pop. Okay, so you can do this one forwards, that's fine. Okay, so you're gonna hop all the way down on one leg. And then when you 
go back up, use the other leg. Okay, so again, 10 goes through, that's level three. Meet back in a moment, level four. Good luck, guys. Excellent, welcome back to level four. Quick check, check of our foam meter, big thumbs up. If you're really confident and you got level three, stay with me for level four. We have wobbly thumbs. Now, going backwards is tricky. Okay, what we can do, instead of trying to stay on the tightrope, you can walk backwards on by the side of it and then go onto it for a little bit, then go by the side of it and then go back on. Okay, just again, like uh, the previous levels, just work your way up to then completing all the way through. Okay, by level four, you're going to need your tennis racket, frying pan, or whatever racket you've got. I'm using a squash racket. Or if you don't have any of those, not a problem, you can use your hand, okay? But don't hold on to the beanbag or the teddy. So we're not gonna use the ball just yet, okay? So with this one, we're gonna place it on top of our racket, okay? And if we're using just our hand, put your hand flat, and hold it on, um, just place it on top like that. Don't grab onto it, okay? So we want balance. So, level four, okay? You're gonna go through your beanbag, uh, beanbag your teddy on the racket, okay? Try and go all the way through. Okay, here we go, 10 goes. If you want to do level four plus, and this is where you're gonna need the ball, okay, so I'm gonna use, well, you can use an actual ball, so you can use tennis ball, football, any ball you like, or I've got the ball that we've made in previous lessons, okay, out of a bag, so I'm gonna use that one. All right, so it's a bit trickier, so it's gonna move. All right, again, 10 goes through. That'll be level four plus. Okay, right. Give it a go and I'll meet you back to level five. All right, good luck guys. Right, here we go, level five, top level. Before we do that, quick check of our thumb meters. So we're, if we had both thumbs up and you were, you were good to go, stay with me. We had wobbly thumbs. And what you can try and do, okay, is when you're balancing, if you found that your beanbag kept falling off and you were falling off the tightrope, then you can hold on to your beanbag. That will help it stay on there. All right, and if you were falling off, then what you can do, like before, walk alongside and then go back on. Okay, build yourself all the way back up. Right, level five. Top level, super tricky. So, level five will be with our beanbag or our teddy going backwards. Okay, Whoa. trying to go all the way back, it's super tricky, okay, then if you want to try level 5 plus, you'll do the same with a ball, and if you want to try level 5 double plus, then you can try it with two balls on your racket, okay, and if you're doing it with your hand, then what you would do is you would have then one place one in each hand. Okay, super tricky guys. All right, but like I said before, I'm here to test you guys. All right, so good luck and I'll meet you back for the skill game. Okay, good luck guys. Excellent guys, you've done really, really well today. What we're gonna do now is we're going to do our skill game. So, what you're going to do is you're going to need to put all um, your equipment at wide end of your tightrope. Okay, so put as many things down there as you can. The so roll-up socks, uh, the balls. I've got my uh, plastic bag, ball. Okay, bean bags, anything you like at the end. All your teddies, as many as you can. Then you're going to start at one end. You're going to walk along. When you get halfway, you're going to go onto one leg. Balance. Five seconds. Five. Then, we go up and collect the movements, whatever it might be. Then you're going to go back, and all the way back, again, to the balance, five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Then I go back, I place that one down, in case that would be one point. If I want to get five points, then I'm going to go backwards, all the way along. Balance. Two, three, four, five. Backwards again. Left my piece of equipment backwards again. Make it halfway. One, two, three, 
four, five. Then I go all the way back. Okay, so that will be a five pointer because I've done it backwards all the way. Okay, so if you go forwards, one point. If you go backwards, there were five points. I want you to give yourself two minutes and see how many points you can get. So remember, the third session in today is can I score over five points in the game to see if you can see if you can get more than five points in total in two minutes. All right, good luck. We'll meet you back in a moment for our debrief. Good well done, guys. Excellent, guys. You've done really well in today's lesson. Okay, really, really well done. What we're going to do now is going to go through our session eight. So, the first one is, can I walk along the tightrope without falling off? So, were you able to walk along the tightrope at any level without falling off? If you've done that today, you've got a big thumbs up, you're super well done. If you found that part tricky today, then really, really well done today. But what you can do is, if you go back to level two, I give some tips on how to walk along the tightrope if you're finding that tricky. So, you're gonna walk along and then walk by the side of it and then go back on, walk by the side of it and then build your way back up, okay? Next one is can I complete a plus challenge? Okay, so were you able to do level one plus, level two plus, level three plus, etc. So if you were, big thumbs up, then uh, really well done. If you found that one tricky today, we didn't quite have time to give that one a go. All right, then no worries, just go back, start on level one and just give it a go. Even if you do it once, and then complete the rest of the nine on level one. Okay, you've still given it a go. And then the last one is, can I score five points or more on the skill game? So if you manage to score more than five points, you've got a big thumbs up, and super well done. If we found that one tricky, okay, then really, really, really well done. But what you can do is you can take out the five second balance in the middle. Okay, so take that one away, and you can walk along the tightrope and collect this equipment and walk back. Same scores, same points, okay? Um, it's then see if you can get above five. So um, as always guys, please continue to like, share, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, send in videos of you guys doing the PE lessons, it's great to see. Um, we are now putting all proceeds of any money that is made to the NHS. So if you would like to donate, then please go onto our Facebook page, it's our, our pinned post, it's right at the top, and just click donate there. All right, and lastly, guys, stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you next time, okay? See you later, guys. Well done.